Yeah, being British to me, you know, it's just it's just embedded in me from the way I talk, the way I carry myself. To me, it just represents, you know, my identity, who I am. I grew up in North London, a six row to be exact. North is always it's, it's definitely somewhere that I don't ever see myself kind of moving from. It's just home. I wouldn't change growing up here for the world. Um, St Mary's is the youth centre I started going to when I was nine. It's mad being in it. This was the first place I started performing and doing shows. I never done that before I started coming to St. Mary's, so it definitely helped build and grow my confidence. Damn. The Johnston room. I spent a lot of my teenage years in this room. Just to have somewhere like here so close to my house, I didn't, you know, take that for granted. I was here every day, summer holidays here every day from nine in the morning till six or whatever the times were. I'd just always be here. It's like I used to do a lot of my dance classes here. And I remember setting up a station right there, recording like one of my first ever songs here. This essentially is where like it all began, this room in particular. When I got to 14 is when I really believed that I'm not going to do nothing else. I know I'm meant to be in a performing arts creative field, whether that be, you know, music or acting. This is just my place and this is where I feel the most at home and this is what I love and what I enjoy. think I would perform somewhere that size at that age. I remember being back there, just like, oh, it's my go now, it's my go. And I remember my school friends being like here, gassing me up, getting me, getting me pumped. I remember coming to the very edge and I think I went too far, nearly took a little took a little fall. When I'd finished performing my song, they just went crazy. And I just remember looking up at my family and like they were going crazy. So I just felt really good. Yeah, and then I came back. It was 2015, I think I was like 20, 21. And I had my, I had my, uh, my own headline show here. So it was like from being nine and then being 15 and then 21 and then I sold it out. Coming back and performing my own show and selling it out on that same stage, this had to have been written. It's very easy to get lost in it all, but I think when you're surrounded by good people and you have genuine people around you that love and care for you, it's very hard for you to get stiff. Well, she's like my sister, even though she's my cousin, she's, she's like my sister. So basically, where we are now is like in between where I grew up and where Paige grew up. It's pretty much just one straight road. I live to the left, she lives to the right, and this is the road that like, there's that one bus that runs up and down this road, which is the 271. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely having people like her and obviously my sisters, my brother, my mum, they definitely ground me. I'm just super grateful to have people like that in my life. Around them, I'm not the little Sims or it's just Simbi. 
when me and my sister, woo, if you see us at a show, you will know. Yeah. You would know. Always in the front, I'll just see them there and I'll be like, oh, I know I'm safe, like, I'm cool. Then I'll come off stage and be like, what do you think? Man? Yeah, so I'm just like, are you all right right now? <laughs> I'm sitting there like, yes, yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant, it was amazing. I cried, like, um, but yeah, that always amazes me. <laughs> Music has always been there and important and a source of joy and focus and just an outlet. So I've never thought Simbi would do anything else really. Even like everyone has like their insecurities and doubts about things, but it's like as soon as Simbi's on, she's on. Growing up around where I grew up, it wasn't, it wasn't easy, but the one thing no one can take away from me is my talent, right? So as long as I've got that and I continue to nurture that, I'm fine. Whatever you dream of and whatever ambitions you have, they're not too big and they're not too far of a reach. Oh.